What if I told you that you could reduce the appearance of your acne scarring by understanding how acne scarring occurs and the right steps to reduce the scarring? Let's talk about it. There are a lot of people out there who will tell you that in order to get rid of your acne scars, all you need to do is exfoliate more. All you need to do is have a good skincare routine or all you need to do is fix your diet. While all of those things are important, you need to understand how acne scarring occurs within the skin in the first place and how to improve the skin's overall texture. Because essentially, Essentially, it is scarring. Scars are created when there's damage to the deeper dermal layer of the skin. It stimulates wound healing, but the wound healing response creates slightly different tissue from our normal skin tissue, which is why acne scarring is not so pretty. Now, unfortunately, a scar can't be completely removed, but you can, with the right treatment and your commitment, improve the appearance of the scarring drastically. Some people are more prone to scarring than others, so if you are watching this and your acne is becoming more aggressive and severe, please go see a dermatologist as soon as possible to prevent infection and scarring. So how does acne scarring occur within the skin? So acne scarring occurs within the skin when we get blockages further down in their follicle. When this occurs, the body actually recognizes the blockage that it's too far away from the skin surface to push out. So instead, it actually keeps the infection in the body. Your body will send other enzymes to break down the blockage and return the skin to normal health. But it can actually take a very, very long time. In the meantime, painful deep pimples in the form of nodules and cysts sit deep within the skin and never actually come to the skin surface. The problem with these blockages, they are so close to the dermis, the deeper layer of the skin, that they damage the collagen and elastin, leading to the scarring. So there are three different levels of scarring that I want to share with you so you can see where you feel your scarring fits in. We first have level one, the low level. This is the red or brown pigmentation marks left behind on your skin after after the skin has had a breakout. It's not actually necessary scarring, but it is associated with post acne breakouts. This level is a change in skin tone, not in the actual skin texture. So this is actually very easy to treat and is more common in darker skin tones who are prone to post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. You can treat these marks with good topical skincare and actives in your routine, lactic acid or mandelic acid for exfoliation, retinol, niacinamide, vitamin C. You can also go get some clinical skin treatments done, including gentle chemical peels or LED therapy. Next, we have level two, mild scarring. This type of scarring appears as shallow sunken scars that are only visible close up. Then we finally have a level three. This is moderate to severe scarring. This is where you will be able to see scarring from further away. For levels two and three, you will need clinical treatments combined with topical skincare. Now, the skin industry is constantly evolving and new treatments are being developed to improve the appearance of scars, but here are my top recommendations. The first one is skin needling. This is also known as microneedling and it should be performed by a skin professional. Skin needling creates a controlled injury to the dermis, the deeper layer of the skin, and creates a wound healing response that produces collagen and textural improvement. The skin looks better over time. All skin tones can be treated with skin needling and little downtime. You will need a series of eight to 12 treatments, either fortnightly or monthly, and you will need to book into a skin clinic for a consultation and skin analysis. The next treatment is fractional laser. This is a non-invasive treatment that leaves the skin surface intact with only a small fraction of the skin damaged. It is similar to skin needling, but instead you have hot laser shot into the skin instead of needles. This laser creates a heat injury in the epidermis and dermis that result in collagen production. You will have redness and inflammation for a few days and you'll need about four to six fractional laser treatments performed monthly. Now the above treatment treatments need to be done with topical skincare. This will be things like vitamin C for high levels of antioxidant protection and support the production of the collagen, niacinamide to make sure that we have a strengthened skin barrier and healthy skin immunity, retinol to regulate the new healthy skin cells and reduce the hyperpigmentation. It's also going to help stimulate the fibroblasts to create healthy collagen and healthy blood vessels to provide the nutrients to the healing scar area. You'll also need to make sure that you are wearing sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun. Scarring can be challenging and lower your self-esteem, but the good news is there are treatments available and scar treatment is progressing rapidly. Now, acne scarring is best to be prevented, so if you want to learn more about the acne types, then definitely check out this video here next.